no, no, no. I got to do an introduction. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Send everybody, to here. a uh, Pod Ones and Voices of Arda uh, collaboration. We yeah. are going to be watching episode four of The Rings of Power, and it's titled Eldest. Eldest. wonder what that's going to be. Mm. Um, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you never miss any of our content. Um, but uh, if everyone is ready, we are going to start the stream. So do you think their faces are really like all like messed up? Uh, they yeah, they said them, there's right? a blight on their faces. So they, there's, yeah. the wizard uh, cursed them. Yeah, last night we didn't even talk about this storyline. I feel really bad. It's really good. I am interested what's going on with her because she's got that mark on her on her neck. I need a little more storyline, so then I'll be ready to talk about it. I don't want her to be his love interest. No. Only because she's not Numenorian, and it kind of makes the it would make the what's the name of uh, kind of a mood point. New about it. Do is there any like intricate like things that I might be missing here? Because I know uh, Pete had brought up that the uh, those are the nine, uh, nineteen, right? There's nineteen there, right? Nineteen rings. Because I want to see if there's anything different from episode to episode, kind of like how House of the Dragon does. It's the crown. Uh, so is that the crown of Numenor then? Right. I'm assuming that's the crown of Numenor. No, it's, it's the, the crown Pearl. of Odin. Round of Turn like of Dorn. Crown of Dorn. Dorn. I was going to say, it looks similar to the ah, Athelian Gore. Yeah, that's right. Now, is that supposed to be the sun? What is that? It's New Minorian, isn't it? Yeah, I don't well. I think so. That's, that's, that's on um, the swords. I feel like I've seen that on like a banner somewhere. Yeah, on a banner, on the swords. Let's go. Now, look at the beautiful landscapes here. Oh, this is what God. I'm talking about. This when is people reminding say this me isn't of... Tolkien, look at this. This is this is this, this is reminding me of Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah, this... I was watching The Hobbit earlier today. Now they're Peter going Jackson through Area Door. They're ha traveling east through Area. Oh, look at that! What did Nuba say? <laughs> yeah, you did say that, did you not? Damn, they really traveled fast, bro. They got that season eight of Game of Thrones fast traveling on them. Everybody thought that he was going to be Kelleborn. So Caliborn's lost in this, isn't he? Like, uh, as of right done. now, yes. Yeah. Go south, so they're going through the hills. Uh, so the, the barrel downs. Yeah. Oh God. Ooh, absolutely not. I feel like Galadriel is going to consistently be like, "This is the work of Sauron." Like. <laughs> 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 I found some really, really poorly cooked elf food. This. <laughs> no, do this. Oh, so this is going to be the episode. Galadriel says one thing, Elrond says another. Well, Elrond's leading, so. Well, it's, it's quite a contradiction to the beginning of the season where Galadriel was just wandering around Fordway, just telling people what to do. She's, I don't think she's, she's used to it. the boss over there, you know what I'm saying? I do wish they'd put more emphasis on the actual band rather than just sticking a big gem in it. It looks cool. Well, but... Yeah. If you look close, they did do a lot of like attention. To yeah, the I think they're like intertwined, case. like coilings, and then there's like uh, all these pearls on the. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. stranger. God, they're just my boy. All right, I don't. Damn. I want you, I want you talking any excuse any me smack about him. Okay, I'm Sorry, not. But no, look at this I dirty know ass exactly. rags. Why is he fought? like? I mean, <laughs> the, no, the, goat is, the goat is literally right there. The joke. Definitely got that man walking around looking like a vagabond, man. Crazy. <laughs> like, look at him. He looks ragged, dude. He's like, oh god. <laughs> He's got what more. Can you throw at him? Oh god, this is the episode, isn't it? The is star about to get that SPF fifty. Yeah, man, man, dude, sunburnt. he needs sunscreen. He is sun oh, yeah. sunburnt over here. He does not look fresh. <laughs> you hey. He looks more gray now. It's like this is the stress that Gandalf has to go through. I mean, the stranger. <laughs> well, the I got song. subtitle subtitles, and it's like goat farmer. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tom. This isn't a okay. funny joke. You can stop it now. Oh, Thanks, man. Man. Willow cameo? Question mark? Question mark? Oh, no, man, we... <laughs> the cameo <laughs> dude are you fucking off, kidding me 
What makes you think mm. you like look at that branch? That is gnarled. Oh my up. god. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh. Old man Willow cameo. You were right. joke. You weren't. Oh, I thought you were joking. Yo, this guy is just not having the, a good day. No. It's like no. I made a tornado. I may have killed my friends. No, <laughs> now I'm, now I'm going to die. The call back to old, the call forward to old man Willow. <laughs> the call forward to old man Willow. I like it though. I do like it. Like, what if it's a seedling? Maybe that's who old man Willow is. Oh, I swear to God, if Poppy is dead, y'all will hear such a high pitched scream from me. I don't even care. It's a whole lot right there, guy. I love Poppy more than. Oh my God. It's looking kind of. Oh. Kind of done. Oh. My, okay, all right, we're good. Oh, man. That, them feet, though. <laughs> For free? All right, we're good. Oh! oh shit. My God. Oh. For half, but that's probably like a 20 foot drop. Very much. Oh, the store! Whoa, <laughs> yo, my son's ears are crazy. <laughs> yo, that hairdo is wild. I know. I feel like I'm looking at a 1980s stroll right now. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. <laughs> he looks like he, he looks like one of the the band members from Jim. Yo, do you got the red hair there? He's oh Rufio. my god! Or no. a reject from the Trolls movie. <laughs> oh my god! This is gonna be the love interest. Oh, I, I, I. You know what? Oh, I, I'm okay smooth. with it. Oh, you don't like that. Oh, give it up to him. He got the he got the I'm flowing okay hair this. and everything. He does. I know. But if he hurts her, I swear to God, I swear to God. Because like we said, if people complain about this, like there's not much on the halflings in this age, so they can just really? cry as loud as the orc baby did in the last episode for all I care. Yeah. <laughs> going ham, ham about that orc baby. <laughs> Okay. Dude, I I could like if there was one thing I had to complain about with this show, it's not the orc baby. It, it ain't no. the orc baby. The last thing I care about. <laughs> like, no. cool, dude. Like, whatever. Those orcs gonna die. Like, or they're gonna go and like live somewhere else, or be controlled by Sauron. There's not a lot of options here. Oh, Harfoot's living in holes. Okay, so this is the precursor to the actual hobbits and like hobbit hobbits. Then, right? They're Ooh. called a. Uh, they, they got a store. word for it. it's called similes semi semiles it's like s-m-i-a-l but in the books i'm pretty sure they don't really specify it or it's the harfoots but correct me if i'm wrong if you know about that Willie. it's in like the first portion of the lord of the rings concerning hobbits chapter look i, I get it now I, I get why sadok was the way he was because look at how these yeah. uh, these stores be acting they're just like yo Leaders be like that for the whole hobbits. They're like, no, we don't deal with this crap. You get tied up. Is this? Oh, look. It's like yeah. verbatim from verbatim from Man the... Willow. I was joking, like, uh... man. <laughs> oh, he just tosses his butt out. He's like, get out of here. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> Old man Ironwood. Bombadil. Okay. All right. It... I like him. He's not the bad. Windy window. In the windy window. In the I'd, I'd like some row. more songs and musical numbers, but yeah, the, the name of that, that place is, is <gasps> Withy Window. Goldberry, Ooh, isn't that the name of that? <gasps> Goldberry, Ooh. what? Oh, oh my God! He's got, he's like throwing him soap, bro. He's like, you ever seen that shit before? <laughs> he just throws a razor into the tub. <laughs> yeah. <with him. laughs> okay, yes, I love mm. this. So he does bullshit like this in the book too. Yeah, he I does. know. <laughs> I know, but it's it's so much more endearing oh. when you see it on screen. I'm not gonna lie. I swear to God, I love Tom Bombadil so much. I swear to God, if they if they are making a reference of him being Arrow Luvatar, I might no, just no, 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 no. no. That's, on, that's on his name. He's the yeah. eldest. He's the Arwine. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, Arwine Benadar. Um, they can go any, either way. I feel like they're they're allowing that like. Hmm. I, I feel like it's either Blue Wizard or Gandalf. Uh, that that yeah, might. My... Thinking. I'm thinking now that I was wrong, and it's like a Blue Wizard. Mm. Well, what if what if the what if the other Dark Wizard is? It, it's two. It's the it's both Blue Wizards, but one is evil, that's, one is good. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I said that in my uh, I said it in my video today. Okay, that's what I'm. So thinking. the the names of the blue wizards kind of tie into that. Ooh. Um, Whoa! Their names are Morahatar and uh, Ooh, yeah. I think it's Rostamo. 
So yeah, I think they're blue wizards. I think so, but I I also feel like the way they're putting so much emphasis on him, I I don't know. It almost feels like it could be that, but I understand that from a law perspective, it's less likely. Oh, this is Cardo awesome. We are in Cardolin. It should be. I'm com maybe coming out of the old forest. I think they went north they, to they south. They went south. They went south, so it was like coming near. And they're, they're near to yeah. where Bree was. So I was looking at a map. Uh, I, I think, like, just when they like showed it before, I think they're like, I think they're coming from like around Lake Evendim. Who the fuck nope. is this guy? Well, it's yeah, an yeah, extra but... that they're focusing on. He's about to get yeah, murked. He's about to get murked off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's about to. Get... <laughs> he got his chest out too. Yeah, yeah, no, there's some demon oh. coming out there to snatch him up. Oh. Hello, Moto. Hello, oh, sunshine. Why didn't he just hurry up and walk past there? Like, I feel like they were like lingering in this dark, deadly place. Oh, oh, Is this where the... that's what built oh, his. So it wasn't called... orc, it was the Barrowite. I called it, yeah, I said they had chains, my guy. I said it was yeah, the Barrowite. Yeah, I noticed that. Really, the Black Elf? Oh, yeah. god damn. Hey, man, that's, that's kind of fucked yeah. up. <laughs> that up, is man. really fucked up. Some old, old horror trope shit right there. That's not cool. Word. Yeah, no. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, my God. People forget that this is the Barrow White Zone, the one that Gollum is actually singing. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, in yeah. The, in the Lord yeah. of the Rings, they have Gollum singing it. Another inaccuracy, by the way. The Barrow yeah, Whites we know yeah. by many names. Oh. Nope. No, he's Yo, in the no. rewind. Yeah, no. Oh, there. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Wiggle the sword down around a little bit. Oh. Try and disrupt the ribcage. I would have loved to see her use some magic Ooh. here, maybe to repel the barrel like. Yeah, Sam. Um, they got to well, start okay. giving her some, some Okay, but like, here's the other skills. thing. Whoa. I feel like what? you're trying to what? emphasize Delron, you know? We, we just seen that didn't work, love. Oh. No, no that's the weapon from the barrel, so. Oh, I see. Ah. Bro. Yo, what the fuck's going on? Why? Uh, did you call him back then? Oh, We're gonna get snatched by the elf snatcher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, but there's gonna be one. You're getting snatched. <laughs> oh, that oh. thing. That's crazy. I love the fact that Arondir's like, yo, this lady. Sauce! That wasn't very kingly. What is it? Hmm. Not a king yet. Is that an even me. one yet? So we got Bombadil, we got freaking Barrel Whites. Barrel Whites. Ents. Potentially Ent Wives. Oh my god, it's the three eyed raven, Bale. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Brendan Rivers. Jeez, the Ents really did a number there. I I wonder if it was the Ents or No, this, this isn't an Ent. These are wild men. Yeah, they they won't destroy their own trees. Oh, I think that's, that's probably nasty, why they bro. they woke up and got pissed yeah. off. In the last episode, when he, the man was cutting cutting the tree. Oh yeah, that's bats, right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's this doesn't look like cut down trees though. It looked like it been knocked down. So no. Got no luck. Oh. oh well, that's real unfortunate. A little, a little sloppy. I mean, you know, I would gross. kind of not go there if I saw that happen to those guys. I'd be like, All right, yeah, I'd be like, like oh, stay away from that spot. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Yeah. What the hell hey. is that? Oh my god. Oh, Whoa! It's supposed to be like it's supposed to be like Ivory. the watcher dude. Ivory and horn. You gonna eat it? Uh, you, oh. you gotta get some wash that oh. first, mate. Yeah, bro. Come that's on. you're covered in be shit mud. You can eat the sloppy like right. nameless thing. Come, you don't even know where that's been. I wonder hey, where that is. That's the fuck. That's Hobbit. That, yeah, that's the Shire. Oh yeah, it is the, absolutely the Shire. Suzad is uh is Andunaic. It's like the language of uh, Numenor men. Um, but it's what becomes common language in Middle Earth. It's oh. Based on so is this his so father, or is this Sadok? I think it's like his ancestor. It says it says Rory Mass borrows. So I think it just means. And great ancestor, and but Sadak had kind of taken the mantle, yeah. or was one of many that took the mantle. And it's also showing how they're related, but they they split off into two different. Mm. <gasps> oh, oh, oh absolutely not! Oh, I would 
fuck my them. My God, that is. Yo, oh, no. chill. What the hell, man? Yeah, buried, buried the black dude, man. Just black people getting smacked around. People getting black people getting. Yo, they wilding right now. They yeah. are kind of wild, bro. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's just fucking. Dimor, they killed the shit out of Dimor in seconds. That dude was on screen uh, for like... not even three seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's definitely gonna use him. Not in the way you think he is, though. Bow, bow, wow. How do you feel about <laughs> the hilt of his his sword having a horse head on it? That was I the like same it. as it's just the same as the rest of the Numenorean yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if I love that. I don't. Mm-hmm. I've always pictured them as not. Like the blade feels off to me, but I don't know. Oh, maybe a horse has got a or that big of a deal in Numenor. Yeah. I mean, a sword looks sick, actually. Looking at it, you know. Yeah, I was about to say it looks bananas. Oh, 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 oh geez, shit. Damn. Yeah, that's an it wide right there. Ah. Oh shit, so he's from Merkwood. What? Oh. <laughs> Finally, so he's a Sylvan Elf from Merkwood. No, he's not a Sylvan Elf. He's ab- He has to absolutely be like... Dude, that's so crazy to me. That's crazy to me. He's a Sindar Elf? Ew. There's another one. Yeah, what if he's like a Sindar oh, Elf? Good. From the Greenwood? I mean, he could have come like, with went the to the Greenwood with like the whole crew with and like, they were going to meet Orifer. That would be yeah, awesome. Not- Holy shit. I don't know how I feel about these end designs. That dude looks mangled. I love her. I dig it. I, what was her name? Winter Bloom? Winter Bloom. Yeah, Winter Bloom. Yo, Winter Bloom. And I like that he's the only one that can speak to them. Yeah. Like, really, like, like you know, bro, I got I'm, this. I'm an elf. My tree handling. My tree handling. They said, is like, in the books, the elf, and, like, they spoke to the trees, you know? The eyes are a bit funky for me. The eyes are the part that I'm okay with because they're supposed to be look like you know like t- like very old aged yeah. like, but like the the twisted up face Aww. man that dude is wrecked. Watch her just like completely <laughs> just take him like rip him apart. Bro, you can't keep that promise. <laughs> oh <laughs> hell no! <laughs> yeah. Definitely right, not keeping that promise. Yep. Damn. <laughs> well, looks like that oath is being broken. So where are they uh, going through Athelion? I was thinking about that, but if it's Pilar gear, yeah, and they I guess travel this north. Is. They could go through Athelion. They gotta go through Middle Earth. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It has to be Athelion. And uh, they do protect the woods of Athelion at some point. They have yeah, to because that's near like the Dagger Lad and everything like that. So he may be telling the truth, my friend. Up, oh, yep. She got some. Yep. Uh, she got Love some internal bleeding. Love interest. Hey. Oh no. Oh no. My husband. Oh My no. My betrothed. Wow. Never mind. Yeah, you go hey, with that, that, that rag head, like with the rag on his head Good. and stuff, you know? All right. That's fair. Yeah, you walk off the seal. What's that like leather right. cap that he has on? I don't get it. You'll you'll be hurt. You're hurt now, buddy, but you'll have a bet. You'll have the last laugh. Uh oh. Yeah, this dude is definitely the witch king. He's the witch king of Angmar. That's the witch king. He's really? Watch, he's gonna. His father's yeah, probably gonna man. be Numenorian or something crazy. His father's Watch. gonna be Numenorian, and he's gonna be a Numenorian lord, and he is going oh. to. Oh. Oh yeah! Look oh, at this. Look at the Belmont. That's crazy. <laughs> oh yo! I thought you were in the movie, this or the show, or whatever. It's crazy, bro. Is that you oh, over there, Damron? Look at that. Look that at Damron right there. Oh my God! She's a force wielder. Look at that. She just killed him. <laughs> It's it's uh, nice seeing the ring having some something. more effects other than just oh, What's cool wrong, wings. Elrond? I thought the ring was evil. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, Galadriel. Let's get it, kid. Oh, that is so cool. Ooh. Ah, damn. It absolutely wrecked. <laughs> oh, my God. He is putting on a damn show, everybody. Ooh, she just grabbed that with her bare hand. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's cool. I'll say that. Don't think so. That was one in their company. Was Ooh, they didn't have one in the shadow. Uh, yeah, Ooh, shit. and there is Adar. Yep. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. My dude's saying oh, Quenya in there. How the frick does he know Quenya? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, how did he know Quenya? I thought that was like... 
Mm. How does he know Quinion if he's supposed to be one of the 13 from Quivian? That was the fourth episode of the Rings of Power. Um, uh, we just finished uh, Bard of Arda. Yeah, just finished. Uh, that was... I liked it. I thought it was lit. I, I love that they good. gave us so many different things there. Um, yes, agreed. I think it's the second best episode that we got so far. Agreed. Yeah, absolutely. I think there was a lot of things that were worth... Uh, you guys are going to have fun talking about this tomorrow. Because this was a damn good episode. It was a yeah. damn good episode. Um, I liked it. I, I think I, I think it's pretty good. Um, I definitely wanted some more Numenorean stuff. There is a couple things that I felt were a little odd. Um, I don't know. The Elrond and Gladriel thing. It's like getting to me a little. It's getting a little version. old. It is. It is. It's I mean, like, yeah, I, I, was I guess they're trying to. It's just... one thing again. They're trying to do an arc, and 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 now yeah. it's Elrond's turn to where he he's gonna have a turnaround because obviously he eventually gets a ring, so he's he's got to yeah. come around. But you know they want to have some opposition to, to feel like hey they aren't just like oh we want to have we have these rings and and everybody takes these rings and jolly good. Good, good. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they're saying, hey, they're not at all agreeing on what they're doing with the three at first. Eventually, clearly, we know. Uh, you know, we know Gilgalad, um, Gilgalad, Galadriel, Círdan uh, are going to get the rings. Eventually, two of those rings pass to Gandalf and then Elrond. So they're all going to have to be in agreement at some point about these rings. Uh, yeah, hmm. agreed. Because and, and and eventually this this will pass, just like how Galadriel in the first season was headstrong i think eventually elrond will come to understand these are a necessary evil mm. and and it'll show in the later episodes i think in the I, I, well once we get to a region um for sure uh that think, that will become very apparent that that sauron's touch was not on it I yeah think, i think i think it's they're not apologize uh go ahead Oh, I was, I was going to say, I think what they, they might do is, obviously, Galadriel has had these four, these visions already of the combat at Eregion. I think that might be what turns Elrond uh, toward the ring, in that Galadriel may mention to him in passing at some point that she she had a vision of Eregion and was trying to prevent that. And then Elrond will go, oh, shit. I was supposed to protect Celebrimbor. That ring was essentially trying to push me down that narrative, but I didn't do it, and I think that's what's going to turn him. Because I mean, he's talked to Kirdan about it. You would, you'd think someone he holds in such high regard, going against what he thinks, would do that. But I think that's probably more why where it's headed. Yeah, I think that the you know the three rings aren't evil, and I think they got to figure that out because they're not even in Lord of the Rings in the book. They're they're the ones that are not sullied. They're not touched. They're made you know uh, by Celebrimbor alone. So I think that that's important. Um, do see they? What happens. I may be misremembering. Do they take them off when the one is forged? Or absolutely, I... yes. when the one is is forged, yes. and and Sauron says the words, they take them off immediately. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Yep. So yep, I love the nameless thing. I thought that was dope. I, uh, from what I've read of the nameless things, I spot on. Um, you know, what I'm saying. Did, did you didn't get an impression that it was like the Watcher because it was very tentacle like? You know, it was like. But maybe no, it was no, I didn't get watching it was thing, more you know? of a centipede type thing. But it's it's funny that the theme, nameless things are many different things. They're not just oh, yeah. watch your esco or whatever. You know, what I'm saying there's different yeah. monsters. Uh, then I like so that. I like that it it they're taking liberties and like I know what you're talking about. How like you know Morgoth and you know uh, bone and ivory and like the spilling of blood is like a direct mention in the Silmarillion during like the creation of Arda. But like I. I like that they're exploring new ideas with that. That was actually yeah. a high point for me with the episode because it's like, cool. this is cool. This <laughs> is stuff. Same with the stores. Like, this is stuff I, I've never really, never thought to consider. And like, seeing it on screen is really like awesome, you know? Yeah, they, they oh, did yeah. a good job. The Suzard, if you guys don't know, is is like a, the another name for the Shire, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's yes. exactly, no, it, it's Andunaic. It's, it's, yeah. that's straight out of the book, too, the Suzard. Because, yeah. oh, so, Language wise and Tolkien, like Andunaic is common tongue or it becomes Westron or the common Westron, tongue. So, yep. so Suzad is a translation into common, like English, that becomes the Shire. Uh, and, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's yeah. what I was thinking. But yeah. that's what you're talking uh, about the rolling hills and, and being able to dig, you know, live in the holes in the ground. Well, and the fact that the, the, like the main tree looks like 
under the hill. It looks like under hill. It's that kind of vibe, yeah. Yeah, you get like, like the bag end vibes. You see like the circles yeah, and end, the party yeah, tree. End. I mean, you're talking about like a that. hole under. A, there was a hole in the ground, and there lived a half foot. Right? Okay. <laughs> Fill in can the I, blanks. Can I also yeah. mention well, that with the stores? I'm sorry. Um, with the stores, we are getting a matriarch that rules over their society, yes. just like yes. they talked about in Gandalf explaining to Frodo. Hey, it was there was a matriarch that ruled over Smeagol's family. Yeah. Mm. That's right. His grandmother, correct? If I'm not yes. mistaken, yeah. it was his grandmother. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Taught his grandma how to, what, I think, like suck eggs is what he says. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's wild. And, then, and, like, and Tom and Tom Bombadil, not as bad. Yeah, I thought Tom he was Bombadil very was cool. <laughs> I like Tom. I, Tom, I thought Tom Tom's was okay. awesome. Hey, I, I thought he did a good job with Tom. It wasn't. Oh, yeah, he wasn't. He was like this episode wasn't was lit, bro. He yeah, wasn't, wasn't too but... like. Here's my thing. My whole worry was that he they were gonna go too far into the rhymes, they and did. the way they did it was so well done. Very tasteful. Like, it was very tasteful. Like it was there from time to time, but it wasn't in your face. It wasn't out of control. That was that drove you. There out was of like some random crazy. stuff. Like there was one scene. The transition. One of them was using he was like giving him honey and then he, he didn't give him honey and then the next scene he was giving him honey again and it was like a obviously an editing mistake but when he started like breathing like fire started coming out of the fireplace i was like that's a lot i don't know what that's about <laughs> yeah. and they're just trying to show the power that he possesses you know what i'm saying like it was sneezing you know but those, inch, though, <laughs> yeah. inch, I, those were on time and i didn't love the, the the mangled faces they had but i did love the ends i thought i thought their words yeah. were very uh, very int-ish. I thought their mood and the way they calm down. I thought when they're on fire, they're on fire, and I don't mean literally. I mean when they're they're when they're actually being hasty because they're angry. They're anger. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, that is like it's devastating. We saw the power of the ints. I really, really dug it, man. I really liked it, man. I like what they were saying. I like the lines about like forgiveness and like washing away yes. the soil. I was really mm -hmm. digging like how they were talking, though. It's always been stated that ends talk like they are hasty uh willie said it best like they're being very hasty in this show yeah. um but yeah i like it I, i'm very much enjoying it i yeah. right now i don't give a flying fuck about the um about the, the isildur estrid thing going on i don't care <laughs> um, so, could miss me with that shit right now i don't care about that um yeah, yeah i just i like isildur but it it yeah, like I like Silver. I'm just, I'm like, what's happening? Is his right wife now? okay? So is his wife very prevalent? Never I can't remember. Never, Never name, but she's name. got she's Numenorian. Mm, uh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, gotcha. I and think. I mean, a, I, I just, it's just a, like I said, I'm just lore wise. Like it would like if he if the if the ruling line in Arnor is mixed, then what was the point of? Yeah, of leaving. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but like maybe they're just trying to really fast track the whole dwindling of like the gift of, to men from the the gift of the Valar, you know, where it's like they have longevity. So I don't know, I I don't really care for it to Willie's point. I'm just like whatever. I don't yeah. know what they plan on doing with Theo, but I'm more committed to Arondir as always. Arondir is my mm. man. Arondir was good. Yeah, Arondir. I love Arondir the Burrow Whites, committed. guys. We didn't talk about the Burrow Whites, were excellent. I thought yeah, that I the incorporation of the song I hear singing and I did better had been that song and it was that song. Um, mm. Excellent job. Excellent job. So I another, thought that um, fantastic. They look fantastic too. They look fantastic. Oh yeah, they look yeah, great. They look great. Um, wish they didn't kill the black guy. Wish they didn't um, yeah. smack the black woman. But That was uh, wild, dude. That was, was like, wild. Oh my God. wild. Yeah. That was wild. Oh, wild. wild. Like, wild. What, what were they talking? thinking like when they were like, yo, we're going to do this scene? We're gonna have this happen. I was like, "Did you even have like any consideration? Like, like, <laughs> back? like what are you yeah, doing?" Yeah, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that guys. was that was that that was pretty crazy. Um, but no, overall, I thought it was a really solid episode. Um, I I do think that we're getting back to the episodes of where in in the later half of season one where we are kind of jumping around a little or like the middle of the season, which is mm. fine. 
but I feel like they're more centered to they're jumping they're to the back place. and forth. Yes, they're 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 going back and forth between storylines that are with, like within the episode. It's not like we're jumping from one place to another. Like it's not like yeah. we went from these, these stories from, are starting to converge and others exactly. are starting to diverge. Like we're we're gonna see everyone converge in a region. So I understand why they came out with the fourth episode being kind of jumping around i'm actually interested to see what happens with the wizards i like want to yes more about agreed. agreed and i hope it's not rushed or something stupid i hope they really give it like a little bit of time because the next two ep- a few episodes are probably going to be heavily dedicated to numenor and Oregon. like uh absolutely. well Nub- yeah. well casa doom and all three i think well I, when i say Oregon, i guess that includes like uh, casa doom Oh, yeah, the they're going to be there and they're going to be trying to force the rings. Yeah, just the door, yeah. the door of Jordan is also a big thing. Like, see, the, the stuff I already know, is, like what's going to happen. I'm like interested in, but I'm more okay. excited for the stuff I like kind of don't know about. No, you know? yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I gotta, and I, I want to drop out because I got to go to work. But uh, absolutely. It's been uh, good you guys knew better. Yeah, where always. Can new, where can the uh, good people follow you? Good people. You can follow me at uh, new better, do better on TikTok, Twitter and x i mean well x is twitter sorry and uh threads yeah, yeah, we don't uh, yeah. instagram youtube uh make sure you go follow voices of order that is our youtube channel which is not only our podcast youtube channel which is you can find a podcast voices of order on all platforming podcasts uh, uh platforms uh spotify google Podcasts, apple Podcasts, all that good stuff um yep. but Voices of Water is now a conglomerate, a combination of your favorite Tolkien creators, uh, all putting our hands in the pot and sharing our lore and our, our our wealth of knowledge, our content, and pooling it into one place where it's a great resource for you guys to go and enjoy our content and our, our, our love for the, the works of J.R.R. Tolkien. So make sure you subscribe to the uh, Voices of Water YouTube channel. And yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Pete, we're going to be able to guys. I'll see you later. Uh, new better. Um, you can find me at Belmont or B E one Mont underscore L O T R Lord of the Rings. Um, you can find me on TikTok, uh, Instagram, Threads, um, YouTube. Now on Voice of Arda. I'm o- I'm also being uh, featured there. But yeah, absolutely. Or you can find me here on Thursdays watching uh, episodes of the new season of Rings of Power with the Pod Wants podcast. And Friday, talking about said episodes. <laughs> right. That's right. Uh, and uh, Bale, where can the good people follow you on the social medias? Well, exclusively, the good people can uh, find me at Grandmas Bell on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Uh, I am on X. I just don't really post on it. And you can follow me at Jedi Master Eggs on all social medias. You can follow us, the pod ones, on all social medias. Uh, tomorrow, we will have a live stream with Chase, a Belmont, Cali, New Beta, I believe, possibly. And then we will have another guest to talk about this episode so you guys won't want to miss that uh i believe it's going to be 6 30 tomorrow maybe nice nice i'll get that i'll get that confirmed with everybody else but be on the lookout there'll be a post um but that's going to be it for this week and this reaction thank you guys so much for coming uh and as always One ring to rule them all and one podcast to bind them.